Hello and welcome to this video in which we'll be discussing um, some decisions that we've made for our horror trailer which include the genre and also looking into the logo and production company name. So we'll start by talking about the genre. So our genre we decided is supernatural slash um, psychological. We really wanted to, to um, play with the audience's mind because we really like the idea of psychological element with also the supernatural because people don't know what's happening. An example of this that we thought would be really good to try was The Boy where it seems at the start that it's a paranormal story but it actually ends up being psychological so lots of plot twists. Um, before coming to the decision we decided we were looking at thrillers, mysteries. We also looked at uh, different elements of supernatural, like demons, religion, ghosts and spirits. Yeah, when thinking of genre, we were like deciding on what kind of look we would like as well, and the aesthetic and the iconography that would come up. So we wanted something religious. Then we also wanted like thriller and mystery aspects. Like we really want to kind things. of confuse the audience, but in a good way. Yeah. So at the end, they're like, oh, is it this or is it that? Mm, that feeds into I our ideas of the production company name so we began to think of elements of what represents mystery thriller and psychological things so that's when we came up with um headless yeah so we came up with a couple of words uh we really want to play on the fact that our names are hibber and hannah so that's double h so we were looking at h words that we could use so we thought of headless, and then building on that, we thought of house, haunting, hell, howling, howl, um, hunt, horrifying. Um, yeah, and so we also, before getting to the name, we decided on um, looking at like burning, smoke, things that like fog your brain, sort of. But then we decided headless was really good because of the phrase, you know, you're losing your head or you're running around headless. And then we came to the decision of house because it's a confined space and we also want our setting to be in house because audiences can connect to that setting as they they live in a house or presumably live in a space. Um, so yeah, that was the decision of the name, Headless House Productions. We then started moving towards logo and the idea of what, um, how it would be represented. Um, so we came up with a couple of ideas. We came up with a lot of words to link to our logo. We thought of mind, dark, half skull slash half human, um, brain, because obviously the mind element, knife, uh, blood. And the idea we came up with first was to get a um, animal brain and cut it in half and then have the name of our, cause our, uh, our um, Production, production company, company on, on the knife because yeah, originally we had headless hell but um we decided that was too gory for a uh, production yeah. company so we changed the idea mm. we also had the other um some other ideas our second idea was using a half face and a half skull and having fire but we thought we didn't have the resources to do that so then we come upon a third idea of when this is when we discovered that we wanted to use house instead of oh. hell or horror so um we came up with the idea of using a house silhouette in a way, and we've come to the um, conclusion that we will be using arts, maybe watercolour, to draw a silhouette of a house and possibly a headless man inside the house. I think this is going to work really well because it not only represents the name, but it shows creativity. Overall, moving forward, uh, we will be creating the logo, but also deciding upon a narrative. I think this has really helped us with our narrative because we've discovered the subgenre, which will lead us to discovering a story. And we've already come up with some small concepts because of the idea of headless and seclusion in a house. Yep. And um, because our logo is due with minds and stuff, it will link uh, well with our um, idea and concepts for the actual trailer. Thank you for Thank listening. You.